Hello everybody, Dr. Brian Desvonik here. Today we are taking a deep dive into the nine dimensions of wellness. Did you know there were nine dimensions of wellness? Well, after this short video, you will have a better understanding of these interconnected aspects that contribute to our overall well-being. We often use the terms health and wellness interchangeably, but did you know that they each have their own distinct definition? Health is defined as our overall state of well-being. Well, wellness is the active process of achieving optimal health. Does that make sense to you? Let me give the World Health Organization's definition of health. They say it is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or illness. Concerning wellness, the National Wellness Institute says it is an active process through which people become aware of and make choices toward a more successful existence. Okay, ready to jump into the nine dimensions of wellness? Let's go. The first one is physical. This is your exercise, this is your eating habits, your sleeping habits, and simply going to the doctor and getting regular medical checkups. The next dimension is emotional. This is knowing how to manage your emotions. This is your self-esteem. This is seeking support and knowing that you need to seek support when support is needed. The third is social. Building healthy relationships, belonging to groups, getting involved in your community. This is social. The next one is environmental. This is creating a healthy living environment and protecting the planet. The next one is my favorite, which is financial. This is managing your finances responsibly, keeping track of your accounting and setting and achieving financial goals. The next dimension is intellectual. This is engaging in lifelong learning, doing active critical thinking, not just following patterns and being creative. The next dimension is occupational. This is finding a fulfillment and satisfaction in work. Did you find a good career that you're actually happy about? The next one is spiritual. This is having a sense of purpose and meaning in life. Some people find this in religion, other people find it in going out into nature and just being a spiritual person. The final one is culture. This is understanding and appreciating your culture and other cultures and understanding cultural diversity and how that makes us all better human beings. Now that you understand the nine dimensions of wellness, take a moment to reflect on your own life. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Let me know down in the comments for the sake of engagement. Remember, health and wellness are a journey, not a destination. By focusing on the nine dimensions, you can achieve a more balanced and fulfilling life. And that's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you know someone that may benefit from the information in this short video, please share it with them. I thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.